What's going on you gamers, today we're going to be covering how you can grab the Soulbinder mod in Remnant 2. Now this mod is an amazing mod to use on your weapons, but it's going to take a little bit of work to get hold of. You're going to want to head over to Yasha, and then go over to the part of the map that's called the Chimney. Once you've spawned in there, you're going to have to make your way to the very final encounter, because you're going to complete this in order to get the item we need for the mod. Now this encounter is actually quite tough if you don't know what to do, but I'm going to run through it with you so that you've got no issues. So ultimately, this encounter is going to see you going down a spiralling path, and as you go, you're going to need to take out the crystals that are dotted around the walls beside you, otherwise they're going to shock you, doing a massive amount of damage. Anytime you see the purple lightning, you're going to want to make sure you stay clear of it, because if there's a heavy amount of it and it touches you, then that's going to be an instant wipe. Most times, it's going to mean that you want to stay ahead of it, so you're going to be rushing at the very start of this encounter, making your way all the way round and down as you go. This can take a little while because there's enemies dotted within, but whenever you can just make your way past them, you can usually do that quite easily, if you need to conserve some ammo. Remember, you're going to keep making your way along. If you find there's a lot of pinky purple lightning in front of you, then just hold up for a second and wait for it to clear. But eventually you're going to make your way to this area just here and you're going to want to clear the branches by shooting the amber exploding parts within them, with there being three in total. Then you'll be able to make your way forward and drop down the hole. Now at this point I was going a slightly different route but I found this one to be much better. All you gotta do is make your way slightly forward and then as soon as the and then as soon as the coast is clear and there's no electricity below you, you're gonna drop down onto this ledge and then proceed from there. Exactly the same as before, clear the crystals as you go, make your way forward and just be a little bit careful of the electricity. Slowly but surely you're gonna make your way down and ultimately this is probably the easiest part now and often you can find yourself holding up, taking out the enemies so that you don't get too far ahead in order to electrocute yourself, whereas you'd need to start again from the very top. You're going to keep making your way down there, and eventually you will make your way to the base, where again you're going to need to take out a few of those exploding branches in order to clear the encounter. There's a few crystals dotted around as well, so if you want to take those out you can. It's definitely not essential, but you can if you think you're close enough to them to be shocked. Very shortly after this, that's going to clear the encounter, and you're going to get the item you need, which is going to be this item right here, the Heart Seed. From here, you can return all the way back to Ward 13, and you'll be able to hand it into McCabe, who will promptly turn it into this mod. I actually really like this mod, it chains enemies together, it makes it so you can take out whole mobs of enemies very, very easy, and I found it great to put on a secondary, because then you can always switch over to your primary after you've used the mod, and then get some significant damage on a lot of enemies at once. What I'm going to do is jump over to the firing range just to give you a quick demonstration, but you'll be able to see just how much this can link things together, and like it shows in the description, it can link a lot of enemies together in the right circumstances, because anything within 7 meters of the primary target is going to be taking a portion of the damage that you're going to be dishing out to the primary target. This can be a really effective mod in some builds, especially for those ones that are mid to close range, and works best when there's hordes of enemies coming at you. Definitely not the best single target, but for multi-target, this one's one of the best ones out there. Hopefully this helped a few of you guys and girls out. There'll be a lot more content from me on the way. As always, Full Fins Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.